Uh, today we're continuing to find hope and pray for our community and the different communities we're part of. And I'm not sure whether I'm, what I'm reading you today is a poem or a prayer. Uh, it was first written by John Henry Newman, uh, recently made Saint John Henry Newman, and then this version that I'm reading was then adapted by Mother Teresa of Calcutta, who apparently said this prayer, poem, every day after she received Holy Communion. And I absolutely love it. Uh, and there's a line in it um, which says uh, that God's light may shine on us so that we might shine on others. Uh, and that's the source of hope I'm praying for today, that, that God can so shine on us that his light might shine through us, uh, making a difference in the communities where we live. Uh, so here is this poem, Straight Prayer. Dear Lord, help me to spread thy fragrance everywhere I go. Flood my soul with thy spirit and life. Penetrate and possess my being so utterly that all my life may only be a radiance of thine. Shine through me and be so in me that every soul I come in contact with may feel thy presence in my soul. Let them look up and see no longer me, but only thee, O Lord. Stay with me, and then I shall begin to shine as thou shinest, so to shine as to be a light to others. The light, O Lord, will be all from thee, none of it will be mine, it will be thou shining on others through me. Let me thus praise thee, in the way thou dost love best, by shining on others around me. Let me preach thee without preaching, not by words, but by my example, by the catching force, the sympathetic influence of what I do, the evident fullness of the love my heart bears to thee. So who would you like God to shine on in your family, your community, your neighbourhood? How might you be a source of that radiance by living our lives closer to God? And if there's some people or some things in your community you particularly would like me to pray for, for the sisters at Whitby to pray for, please do write in.